Welcome back, everyone. I'll go and show you how you can change your font within your iPhone pretty easily. Now, there's a couple ways to do this. You know, if you're trying to change your actual font versus, you know, bolding the text and text size, those things can be changed within settings. And I'll go and show you how to change that kind of stuff. So what you want to do is you want to hop inside of your settings app. So come into a panel that looks like this. Then all you have to do is go and scroll down into display and brightness, which is right here. And this is on iOS 15, so you're probably going to be on iOS 15 as well at some point. Now, when you scroll down, you'll see these two little options. One says text size, so you can go and click on text size, and you can go ahead and change your text size, you know, system-wide, and just like this. So now, if you go and hop out, you'll see the text is much, you know, larger. If you want it smaller, you can go and drag it all the way to the end, which is this way, and you'll see the text size is smaller now. So me, personally, I like keeping it here, but that is one cool little thing that you can do if you really want to change your text size. Now, another thing you can do is bold your text. So you can go ahead and click a bold text right here, what it's going to do is it's going to bold the text pretty much system wide. So you may like that. You know, I actually think it's pretty cool and it looks pretty good over the videos. So you can go ahead and have your text bold system wide. So I think that's another really awesome thing. Well, let's say you want to change the actual way the font looks like. Well, one way you can do this, you know, at least for the keyboard's sake, so you can't change the font for, you know, under the apps and all that stuff. But if you want to text people in a different form factor in a different font, well, what you want to do is you want to hop inside of your app store like this and you want to install a, this specific application which is called fonts so you just type in fonts and it'll go ahead and be able to just install on your app store just like any other application now at this point what you want to do is you want to go ahead and open up the app and it may ask you to allow you know permissions or whatever it is so you just want to allow all that stuff and then once you go ahead and get into the app and everything you don't want to go into your settings option right here so then all you have to do at this point is up top where it has a search bar. You just want to go ahead and click the search bar and you want to type in keyboard. So when you type in keyboard, you just want to find the keyboard option, click on it. And then what you want to do is you want to click on keyboards up here. You want to click on fonts and you want to allow full access to this keyboard. So those are really the main things you have to do. At this point, you want to go and swipe out of here. You want to go back into any other application that requires a keyboard. In this specific case, you can go into messages. You can go ahead and make a new message. And all you want to do is go ahead and hold down on the little globe icon and you want to see if that specific keyboard font comes up. So you can see for some reason it doesn't, so we have to go back here. And then if I go and click here, it'll go ahead and take me to the fonts keyboard. So now all you have to do is go ahead and use your keyboard as you normally would. So this is the normal font, but you can now change it to a different font if you want to. So here's a different font. I do not know what this is, but there's a lot of different ones like typewriter. This is a pretty interesting one. So you can type in whatever you want to, and you can see this font is now different. Same exact thing if I click outline. A lot of these, some of them are paid for, some of them aren't. But I think serif is one you have to pay for. This one is one you have to pay for. And this one is not one you have to pay for. So you can see all of them are a little bit different, and they can add a little bit more, I guess, character to your specific text that you're sending. So that's pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.